Every day this week, we're highlighting the Bentonville Film Festival, and today we are delighted to have folks from the movie Out of My Mind here with us. We've got Sharon and Amber. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Delighted. Yeah. Yes. Well, tell us kind of your involvement. You wrote the book. Is I that wrote right? the book, yeah. Out of My Mind, um, on which the movie is based. Uh, the book's been out since 2010, uh, but it's used in schools all over the country, and it has touched people all over the world. Yeah, I imagine so. And you had uh, the the great pleasure of taking that book and, and directing the film that's going to be featured at BFF. Is that right? That is true, yeah. 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 How often is it that the author and educator yourself uh, work hand in hand with the director on on a movie? Oh, well, I've had like 92 movies made. <laughs> <laughs> So really? like it happens all no, the time. No, seriously, this is a unique possibility. We just we met and the, all the pieces came together, and they have been a wonderful, wonderful team to work with. Yeah. And to make this, to turn the story from words into pictures and to movies, it's it's I can't do that, but she can, and they've done a wonderful job yeah. of creating this movie. Yeah. Well, maybe give us a little bit of a synopsis about the story, about the movie, what we can expect. Um, Melody is uh, the most brilliant child in the school, the absolute most brilliant child in the school, but nobody knows it because she can't walk, she can't talk. And so everybody assumes that there is nothing in her mind. And it takes a number of uh, teachers and aides and people who realize, oh my goodness, this girl is brilliant. And she finally gets a communication device that changes her world so she's able to speak and she's able to, to tell. The first thing she says when she gets her new talking device is, I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. And so, but the turmoil that she has to go through, the, the difficulties of dealing with the world in a wheelchair, not just a wheelchair, but a wheelchair, and not being able to speak to, to tell your, your basic needs. Right. Um, and they've done a wonderful job of turning it into uh, a film. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. So it's fill exciting. us in on kind of what it, that was like from taking the book and turning it into a movie. I mean, it was it was amazing. Obviously, you know, we started with such wonderful source material, and then Daniel Stiepelman wrote the script based on Sharon's book, and then I got together with Daniel and we made some changes. And um, so not everything is necessarily the same as the book, so I think audiences will love to see what's different from the mm -hmm. novel and from the film. Um, but it was just a wonderful thing, you know, to have Sharon there for us. We could always go back to her and say, hey, you know, tell us more about this part and why did you write this part? And, um, and we had a lot of amazing uh, consultants on the film, people who either have CP, cerebral palsy, or people have people in their lives with CP, uh, CP organizations. Um, so we really tried to be, you know, just really involved in the community and find out, you know, all the different kinds of stories that, that you can tell, you know. So. Yeah. And that makes a lot of sense. It's an absolutely beautiful story. My kids read it in school and when they read it, I read it along with them. What inspired you to tell this story? The story needed to be told. Um, uh, the, <laughs> I remember once I went to a school and a little girl in a wheelchair raised her hand and she said, why did you write this book? I said, I wrote it for you. And she said, well, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the kids, the, the students, the young people who are living this life have finally received a voice yeah. and many of them literally don't have voices mm -hmm. but this gave them a voice this gave them a platform this gave them um, a world that um, t so that other people can understand what it's like to be them yeah and I think that's so important uh, being able to see yourself up on the screen or on the page uh, so yeah, thank you for doing that you can see some details on your screen right there it is the opening night film, tonight, I understand, yeah, tonight, right? Tonight, tonight, PM, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then it's screening again there at Thaden School coming up this weekend. Saturday, so, yeah. yeah. Thank you both for joining us. Yeah, thanks we for having us. It's been delightful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Thank you for having us.